Okay, I got a fun setup here today. I got a couple uh, tools that we're gonna use to help you achieve good lower body um, movement into impact. And everyone's a little bit different. Um, so sometimes I have to cue some people certain ways and some people other ways. So I just wanted to show you a couple ways that I like to cue people uh, to help them use their lower body better and uh, find impact and, and find a good amount of rotation and good space through the ball. Uh, important place to have space is coming into impact. So if I go in here, so this is the first setup I have. I'll put a uh, picture up of sort of how I have this set up. I got a couple uh, plastic twist ties with a couple alignment sticks so it's easy to set up on your own. Um, I get in here, I give myself just a little bit of space because as my pelvis rotates, this right hip is going to be moving into the ball, but the goal is I'm going to be pushing this trail hip out of the way, or sorry, my lead hip out of the way to make sure I have enough space coming into impact. That's going to let my chest stay in a good position and let my lower body get into a good open position. So if I start here, this is for people who have a, a tendency to be, drive up and forward into it. So as you're driving and rotating, you're able to create a little bit more space through the lower body, and then you can get the hand position um, where you want it coming through the ball. And you can see how I'm driving back away, all the way into this left heel through impact. And that's gonna give me enough space to push and keep rotating and drive up and around through the hit, okay? So if I get set up in here, I'm driving this way, the club's gonna get pretty close to these sticks and then I can move through. And it's one of those ones where you're not gonna be hitting full shots uh, with this drill, it's just more three quarters trying to get the feel, okay? So that's, uh, that's drill number one. Drill number two, um, <laughs> some people need a little bit more uh, feed, feedback through tension. Okay, so I got, uh, I have a, an exercise band here attached to a kettlebell. And then what I do is I have it sort of clip there, and then I'm gonna clip it here, and I'll demonstrate a couple different things. So if the kettlebell, say, is in front of me like this, right? So it's pulling me forward into my fault, right? So my fault being if my hips are driving too much into the ball through impact and I'm trying to get more space uh, to be able to, to rotate through it. If I'm coming in, this, this, I have it pulling me sort of forward and uh, into the ball this way. So then I'm gonna be working. I could even do it with a club. I'm gonna be working, keeping space, keeping tension on this band as I keep space and I'm trying to get into a nice solid foot position here so I got good balance and then this is pulling me in and I'm resisting that. So that's one way to cue it. If you're a guy that goes um, a little bit too much, so if I have it pulling forward this way, then that's gonna help me drive and rotate around and push this hip back. But if I'm a guy that stays back too much on this back foot, then I'm gonna move this kettlebell on this side. So now the tension is, I wanna create tension, so I'm gonna do that by pushing and, it, and driving forward and then getting into my lead side this way. So that's kettlebell on the back if you're a guy that hangs back too much, kettlebell forward if you're a guy that slides too much and gets a little bit too far forward, okay? This one, it, it, it's tough to hit balls unless you're a guy that is gonna be driving forward because then you can sort of have it on the trail side. But if I have it, if I have it on my lead side up here, you know, obviously I'm not gonna be able to hit. It's just something I wanna rehearse to get uh, that feeling through impact and where I'm creating that tension through uh, my legs and through my feet. So if I set up like this, so this is the one, this is probably the easiest one to set up, but this is not for everyone um, in the sense that this feeling moving into something, it, it, it's probably my last thing that I'll focus on. I'll start with, um, cr you know, trying to avoid something and then also creating tension uh, to get the sense of how the muscles are responding. And then my last thing that I would get people to do is just move into something or feel like they're, they're trying to achieve a, a push into this bag as you're, as you're creating a strike. So I give myself a little bit space off the bag and then as I go in, I'm really pushing back trying to hit that golf bag with my uh, lead, lead side, lead glute to keep that space. So fun, a couple fun ways to do it. Um, I hope that helps, I hope that helps you get that sense of how you want that lower body to be and that's gonna give you a good chance to create some good energy and good rotation through the ball.